Now, before you judge me or this ministry that I represent, please watch this video in its entirety because you're going to be left with no excuse to accept this false prophet, Sarah Fatu, any longer because she is a fraud and a thief, as heaven calls her. God warned prophet Elizabeth Elijah years ago with this message. For even the false prophets take these messages I give you and they study them and they copy them to make them look like the words that I speak to you are coming from them. Do not be amazed, my daughter, for does not even the devil know that truth proceeds out of your mouth when it is I, Yahweh, that puts the words in your mouth? The counterfeit raise up and the people are deceived so they can take the words and twist them into that which I did not mean. For those of you who copy these prophecies and act as though it is I, Yahweh, through your mouth that speaks, you shall have to pay the price for the anointing that she has paid. Only I will increase it 100,000 fold. For you have stolen something and did not pay the price. As I told my handmaiden, the greater the anointing, the greater the sacrifice. It is in God's Ten Commandments, Thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not covet. James chapter 4 You covet and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. For as the Bible says, Thieves will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. For as John says in 1010, the thief comes only to steal and kill and to destroy. Sarah Fatu, within her very own comment section, and I quote her own comment, said that she used to be caught up in a mighty wind ministry, which means she used to accept this ministry of a mighty wind and the prophetic messages. Now, is it any wonder or coincidence that, if not all, some of Sarah Fatou's own prophetic messages that she claims to receive from God are almost the exact same ones given to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah? For instance... Basically, I just want to kind of bring people up to date with what the Lord has been bringing to me, what He's been placing upon my heart, and what He's blessed me with. Um, I have a few new insights. Um, I'd like to just tell everyone that I think a lot of people, the Lord's bride, his people, should be reading the book of Enoch. Everyone that I think a lot of people, the Lord's bride, his people, should be reading the book of Enoch. Now if we take a look here, Prophecy 76, which is found on the Almighty Wind Ministry website, was given to Prophet Elizabeth Elijah in September 12, 2004 many years ago in which this prophecy contains the revelation about the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, needing to study the book of Enoch, which is one of the books that were taken out of the Bible. The excerpt of Prophecy 76 reads, I, Yahushua, teach you now. This is relevant to the bride of Yeshua. I am speaking forth this revelation. Behold, it is a new thing. The book of Enoch was not included with the books which are in the Bible, and yet I give you this mandate to find this book and study it. In 1998, Prophet Elizabeth Elijah received the prophetic warning for this end time about a zombie apocalypse that is going to occur. Now, Sarah Fatou is now claiming that she has now received this prophetic message also. But wait, remember, she used to be caught up in a mighty wind ministry. So what's going on to where she once was reading the prophecies and now she's claiming these prophecies as her own prophetic messages, as if the Lord gave them to her. Now, for someone to receive a prophetic message, there is a price to pay. And one thing I will say is that Sarah Fatu has not paid the price that Prophet Elizabeth Elijah has paid to be receiving such messages. Now, what changed? Because now Sarah Fatu is now bashing and attacking the very ministry that she stole the prophetic messages from. Um, this includes also the Almighty Wind Ministry, the Almighty Wind Ministry, run, 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 run. Um, it is a completely dark, occult, 
a ministry there. Um, the head leader is not of God. Um, she completely is a servant of Satan. So now Sarah Fatu slanders and attacks this ministry, calling it a cult that is of the occult that is steeped into witchcraft. Now, when confronted by a YouTube user, where the YouTube user asked her to justify her accusations and claims, Sarah Fatou does not respond. Why? I will tell you why. Because if you visit the Almighty One Ministry for yourself and the website, you will see nothing but the message of the Gospel of Yeshua HaMashiach. The message of John the Baptist, which is repent and turn from your sins. Turn from your wicked ways. Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You will see nothing but the Ten Commandments being preached. And many supporters that are standing up for righteousness in these last days. Standing up against things like abortion and homosexuality. This is what is found on the Almighty One Ministry website. But again, Sarah has no proof. Where is your proof, Sarah Fatu? There is none, and that is why you did not reply. That is why your claims are vague. There is no detail within what you're <laughs> accusing this ministry of. There is no proof. Um, this includes also the Almighty Wind Ministry. The Almighty Wind Ministry, run, 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 run. Um, it is a completely dark occult uh, ministry there. Um, the head leader is not of God. Um, she completely is a servant of Satan. So again, this makes completely no sense as she accepts the prophecies of this ministry and uses them while bashing this ministry at the same time and calling it a cult. And for what? What did this ministry do? to cause her to attack in such a way. Um, it is a completely dark occult. Sarah Fatou is also the one here on YouTube constantly telling people to test the spirit that speaks and make sure you discern, make sure it is coming from the Lord, as she says. But she herself was way off on the discernment that I am about to show you. Now, as she's in the comment section blessing the main core enemies of a Mighty Wind Ministry, like Daisy Exposer, who is probably TJ Brooke 88, who is a blasphemer of the Holy Spirit, Key Cog, another blasphemer of the Holy Spirit, who we have continually exposed within our videos and shown you material that these enemies are stooped in the occult and they are masquerading as Christians trying to deceive you for as the Bible says that Satan's ministers masquerade as ministers of righteousness now here goes the grand slam as I will show you now in this video that Sarah Fatu did against the Mighty One Ministry and where she also adds Sunshine Ra and tries to put us both together because Sunshine Ra on her own is horrible and looks very bad. And so Sarah Fatu tries to use Sunshine Ra also as a cloak to cover a Mighty Wind's deeds, supposedly. As, as we all know, Sunshine Ra is insane because she has called the Bible the mark of the beast. But anyways, within this video where she quote unquote exposing a mighty wind if you look within the description you will see that Sarah Fatu has recommended a prophetic word from a YouTube user called Last Trumpet 08 now if we visit Last Trumpet 08's channel what do we see here this is John Boshoff's wife now, for those of you who do not know John Boshoff, he is the man who has openly and proudly said that the Bible is not the Word of God. Now, according to Sarah Fatou's own words, she said she would never put something up that the Lord God um, would never tell her to. Now, why would God Almighty tell her to promote John Boshoff's wife within her video. Obviously, 
this covetous thief and slander has no discernment whatsoever and is instead a copycat who is copying the holy prophetic messages within this ministry out of jealousy and envy and is only doing it in her own twisted way for fame and for popularity here on YouTube as many people are doing. I would like to share that as I was making this video and praying I heard as I believe it was Yushua HaMashiach Jesus Christ say Sarah too, he has cursed you as he has cursed that fig tree in the Bible. Now Sarah too, I pray in the mighty name of Yushua HaMashiach that you will pay the same price increased a thousandfold that what Elizabeth Elijah had to pay for the anointing within the prophetic messages. And you will have to pay this price because you have stolen from this holy ministry.